It all began 100 years ago. The start of a strong, proud legacy of service. Built and nurtured over time. A tradition that today, patients, families, and communities need more than ever. I think it would be wonderful if all of the population could understand that while the VNA in 1912 started in a very small manner, it has now grown to where it is present in almost all of the counties of New Jersey, where it brings an unparalleled level of expertise, caring, and devotion to the population that we serve. The future of VNA is, is incredibly bright. Nurses, therapists, social workers, other field clinicians, helping take care of people at home is one of the most futuristic concepts in healthcare. And this is a solution to uh, one of the biggest problems that we face as a country, as a state, uh, in terms of how do you keep high-risk populations uh, healthy at home. There was a, an anonymous author who wrote some time ago that mission is not a line item on an agenda. Mission is that to which we remain eternally dedicated, and that is what the VNA has done. The thought that concerned community members could plant a seed that would become such an important part of the fabric of how a community, how a state addresses the needs of its most vulnerable uh, individuals is just incredibly inspiring. And I think that we all have you know, a responsibility to make sure that that dream grows and becomes more relevant. VNA Health Group was founded by Geraldine Thompson, a dedicated public welfare pioneer. Through her mission, VNA attended to the neediest, reached out to hidden populations, responded to community needs, and advocated for those who could not advocate for themselves. Over the span of 100 years, those guiding principles have continued to define the VNA mission. Today, the organization delivers a wide range of important services in home health, hospice, palliative, and private care, as well as community-based programs. Community-based programs are essential and critical and part of our legend, so to speak. It's part of our history. From the beginning with Geraldine Thompson, uh, looking at how we, she could impact on the social issues of her time, and through the past hundred years, looking at how, as an organization, we could really meet the needs of the community and the community as it may change. We never say no to individuals, regardless of their circumstances. So we serve the uninsured and the underinsured, an amazing mission for an organization to have. And it's why so many people are compelled to help this organization. It's an incredible honor to be invited into someone's home. We're a guest, we're partnering with them, and then they're so thankful and grateful that we were able to get them to the goals that they set for themselves. VNA care providers are often referred to as angels, bringing help, compassion, and understanding to those in need. Tori is uh, an eight-year-old uh, daughter of ours, the youngest daughter of four. October 2008, she was diagnosed with leukemia, and it was hard. I think we were both in shock. We both felt helpless. 23 days of consistent in the hospital. When are we getting out? We didn't know. The unknown. Cancer definitely affects the whole family. I don't think that there's anything worse than hearing something like that about your child. I think as a parent, your instinct is to protect your child, and all of a sudden we were unable to do that. It was just a, nothing we could have ever imagined. Aside from being so consumed with our youngest child who was dealing with the disease and all of the needles and all of the pain that she was going through, we had three other children who were in kind of needy stages, preteens, and with all the nights at the hospital, they were left alone with, you know, family members, friends, and shuffled around, and we had such guilt that we couldn't be there for them. VNA uh, was introduced to us by our clinic 
uh, the Valerie Center where, where Tori needed to be hydrated and then get deaccessed. And it, it saved everyone time, money, and convenience by having it done here. And then the beauty of it is, I think our first time is Peter came. Tori's uh, uh, one of my young patients. I see her for her oncology treatments at home. We are helping Tori live a, a more normal life by allowing her to have these treatments at home. You know, she was very comfortable with Peter. Peter had a relationship with her. It made it so easy and, and more comfortable for Tori to deal with. That's one of the great things about um, home care and dealing with children is children are so resilient and being able to, you know, get them to the point where they can lead a normal life is really satisfying and that's one of the reasons why I've stayed in nursing as long as I have. It's a really rewarding feeling. Well, the people that are donating and contributing to help support the VNA, I would tell you that for our daughter, it's meant the world because there's so much of life that's going around Tori and it's passing her and she now has the opportunity to play and be a normal eight-year-old. So thank you to the supporters of VNA because you're making a huge difference in the quality of an eight-year-old's life. <laughs>